Abby Andrew and welcome back to the Renee of Paris YouTube channel. I'm the alopecia ambassador for the channel, meaning that I have alopecia myself and I have since about the age of two years old. And now that I'm more confident with my alopecia, I love to wear all sorts of different wig styles and colors on a regular basis and I love switching it up. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys some of my favorite holiday looks and some of my favorite ways to pair different pieces for the holidays. So I'm also going to be showing you some really fun ways to match your wigs with your outfits as well. So for each of these looks, I'm going to be wearing a different wig and you'll see that sometimes I like to wear long blonde hair, sometimes I like to wear uh, short silver hair. So you'll get to see all the different looks that I wear for the holidays and hopefully give you some great ideas as well. So jumping right into the first look, for the first look, I decided to go with a really nice, big, comfy, sweater and show you some ways to kind of dress it up a little bit for the holidays. And I'll back up the camera in just a minute to show you the full look, but first I just wanted to show you the wig. So this wig is Angela from the Alexander Couture collection in the color Champagne R. I love this wig color and combo together. I think it's just so gorgeous and fun, kind of rocker chic with the layers as well. I've wanted a wig like this in my collection for so long and I'm so in love with this wig. A couple ways I like to dress up this wig though are for some reason, as soon as I saw this wig for the first time, I knew I needed to pick up one of these headbands to wear with it because it just feels so fitting with a hairstyle like this. For some reason, I feel like headbands like this just look really good with bangs. So of course, this wig has the nice uh, front bangs that you can also brush to the side a little bit. But this headband just kind of makes it a little bit more formal looking as well. I also love how this headband looks with the little collared shirt as well. Another way I've been loving wearing this wig lately as well is this is something I like to do with all my long wigs is to just accessorize with really, really cute accessories. So I love wearing this wig with this black bow that I have, especially because the blonde and the black is a really nice contrast. So typically what I do when I'm wearing a bow like that is I just take a regular uh, ponytail holder and just put a half ponytail in the wig and then just clip the bow on top of that. Then just take your bow and go ahead and clip it right on top of that. So here is the full look. As you can see, all I did was take a really basic sweater. This sweater I actually picked up from the thrift store a million years ago. And some ways to just kind of dress it up and make it a little bit more formal looking. You can wear a collared shirt underneath, like so, just to add a really cute element here. You could even find some of those interesting, I know they make like kind of clip-in collars as well that are just kind of fake collars if you want the look but don't have a shirt to wear under it. That's a really fun option as well. And then I also like wearing my big oversized sweaters with cute skirts like this one just to kind of make it a little bit more feminine, uh, just if you're going for that look. Then of course for the colder weather, sweater tights are your friend. So I love wearing sweater tights with outfits like this in the winter just to make them cute but also warm at the same time. And don't forget, if it's really cold, don't be afraid to layer your sweater tights as well, just for that added warmth. So for the whole look, I really like long wigs with sweaters like this as well, so this wig is a perfect fit for it, and the bow just makes it that much cuter. Then you can even pair the two accessories that I mentioned in the beginning, so you can keep the bow in the back, and just to show you what it looks like with the headband as well, I love how this looks all together. Now for this next look, I decided to go with a crushed velvet look because for some reason crushed velvet always reminds me of the holidays. So I have this adorable crushed velvet pink dress and just to make it a little bit more seasonally appropriate, I put this uh, turtleneck t-shirt underneath and then to make it even warmer, you could even wear a long sleeve turtleneck underneath. I think with a color like this, the white works. I think a black one would work as well. And then also to make it warmer again, I put on a different pair of sweater tights. This one is kind of like an argyle pattern. Uh, with the gray and black argyle. So it just kind of turns this dress that is kind of more of a springy dress, you can transform that into a more of a winter look. And dresses are always fun for the holidays because they always just feel a little bit more festive if you are someone that likes to wear dresses like me. So this outfit looks really great with the Angela wig as well, but just to do a different wig for each outfit, I thought that this new wig that I just got will look fantastic with this look as well. It's definitely gonna make it very extra, but you'll see in just a moment. I thought it might be fun to pair this dress with this wig color. This is actually the wig that Danny or Texas Wig Fairy, one of the other social media people on the Renee of Paris channels, part of my social media family, if you will, she always says that. Um, this is actually the wig that she surprised me with on our wig surprise. We did a little gift exchange over on Instagram Live. So if you don't follow us on Instagram, definitely go check it out over there to stay up to date on all of our live streams. If you want to watch that, that will also be on the IGTV on Renee of Paris on Instagram. 
but she gifted me this incredible wig and I thought this wig color would look so good with this dress as well. So of course matching this wig with the dress is a little bit more of an over the top look, but I definitely love all sorts of looks. So if you're open to something like this, this might be really fun to kind of match your wig color to your outfit. But this wig color is just so fantastic. This is the wig Angelica from the Noriko collection in the color Melted Plum. This wig color is so fantastic. The way it goes from this darker kind of like plum color to a mid-tone to a lighter color on the ends. Melted colors like this from all of the Renee of Paris collections are so fabulous. So definitely a fun one if you like more of an over-the-top look for the holidays. So for the final look, I wanted to go for something that might be more appropriate for New Year's Eve, but you could also wear around any other holidays as well. So this is actually the exact look that I wore to bring in the new year this year. So this is a piece that I love. I love getting a little bit more glitz and glam for New Year's, which is why I was thinking this might be more of a New Year's Eve look. But this piece is actually a full um, bodysuit, I guess is what these are called. So the, the pants are actually attached to the top. But just to make it a little bit more um, feminine as well, because I do like wearing cute skirts for events, I also just added this little black skirt on top. So this top is just a sheer top that has all these rhinestones glued on. So I got this at a thrift store, but you could definitely DIY something like this. I have DIY'd things like this myself in the past. You can just get a basic sheer top, as long as you have a glue that is appropriate for fabric and is washable so it will stay on after you wash it. You could just use that glue to glue your own rhinestones onto a top like this if you want to save some money and make it yourself. And this is also the same wig that I wore to bring in this new year. This is the wig Faith from the Noriko collection in the color Illumina R. I thought a wig that was kind of silvery like this would be really appropriate for New Year's because I feel like New Year's is always kind of silver and gold and stuff like that. So I thought it would be fun to match the silver with the rhinestones with the silver in my hair. That really is such a fun part about wearing wigs is getting to match your hair color with your outfit and wearing it just like any other accessory. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely let me know in the comments below which of these three looks I showed you was your favorite, which of the wigs I showed you was your favorite, and if you're going to be using any of these tips for your holiday looks this year. And also comment below, do you guys typically wear the same wig that you normally wear through the holidays, or do you like to have a fun holiday wig? I know for me, I definitely like to have a specific wig just for the holidays, whether it's just a new look or a different length. I just like to have something just to change it up a little bit for the holidays. So don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed, subscribe to the Renee of Paris YouTube channel. You can also find me at Abby Andrew on YouTube and on Instagram as well. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. We will see you next time.